Grade 3 math number 100, square units and area. We're also going to talk about unit square, not to be confused with square units. Isn't that silly? Okay, if you remember from our other videos, perimeter is the measure around the outside edge of an object. So if you have a square or a shape, the perimeter is the measure going all the way around the outside of the object. Okay? Area is the number of unit squares needed to cover the inside of the flat surface. So if you have this flat surface, how many unit squares do you need to fill it? This one would be four. That's its area. Whether it's four feet, four inches, four centimeters, we don't know. That's what a unit square is. It's an arbitrary amount that is just one unit long. It could be paper clips. It could be crayons. It could be any length. But it would be one unit, one paper clip, one crayon. Okay? So that's the unit. All right. So if we were to look at a rectangle and we wanted to figure out what its area is, we would break it into its units and look to see how many squares are on the inside, okay? We're not counting the perimeter of the outside. We're counting how many of these squares are on the inside. There's three going across and four going down. So what we could do is we could say three times four. And what is three times four? Do you remember? 3 times 4 is 12. So this rectangle has four, 12 square units. Now let's check it out. Does it really? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It does. So if there's 4 coming down this way and 3 going that way, we could just do 3 times 4. We could do the length times the width. And if we do the length times the width, and it's a full shape that doesn't have any indentations, like a U shape or anything, if it's long as it's a full shape like this, we can do length times width, okay? So, let's look at this one. Let's find the area of this one. How many boxes, square, how many unit squares are going across this way? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five unit squares going across this way. How many are coming down the side? One, two, three, four, five. So the length times the width would be five times five. And what is five times five? Do you know? Have you memorized your times table yet or at least your fives? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So there's 25 square units here. Let's double check to see if we got it right. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. See? Here's a group of 5. Here's a group of 5. Here's another one, and another one, and another one. So we have 5 groups of 5. That's 25 square units. Okay? So now let's look at the unit and the area on this odd shape. Now we can't do length times width on this one the way we did it over here because look, there's part of the shape missing, okay? So it wouldn't be the same as this one that's all full. So what we could do is we could break it into smaller pieces and do the length and the width on this one do the length and the width on the square in the center, and then do the length and the width on this one. See? And then add them all up together. Okay? So, this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 across. And how high is it? Now we're going to stop right here. Remember? We're just going to do this top part. There's 2. So we can say 7 times 2, which is 14, right? So let's put our 14 right here. How big is this one? 1, 2, 3, 4 across. Okay. 
And how many is it coming down? One, two, three, four coming down. Four times four is 16. So now we're going to add 16 more to the big shape. And how many is the bottom part? Because remember, we stopped here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and it's got the height of two. And what is five times two? Five times two is 10. So let's add that to our total. Now let's add this up, and that'll tell us how much is in the whole thing, okay? Four and six is 10. We're gonna carry the one and put the zero down. One, two, three, four. There's 40 square units here, see? Now remember, we weren't able to just do length times width like this one because it was all full. This one's got a missing space here. So what we did was we broke it into sections and did it that way. Now we didn't even have to do times table. We could have just added up, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We could have done it this way and counted each one of these separately. It's just a little quicker to go like this and like this with the length and the width and multiply it and then get the amount. Just make sure that you break it off wherever it looks like it's changing, okay? Now, let's look at this over here. What is the area of this? What are the unit squares? This one's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine square units. And this one we were just able to count because it's in this funky L shape, see? So its area is nine square units. Now, if these were each one foot in size, and let's say it was outside and we were making a hopscotch or something, and this was one, these were each one foot in size, they would be nine square feet. If it was inches, it would be nine square inches. Same with these. If it was, what if this was a huge piece of land and the house was on it, and these were each miles? we could say there were 40 square miles, see? So depending on what the measurement is that we're using, that's what the square unit is. Now, can you look at this one without the lines and figure out how many square units there are in this one? Can you figure it out? How many do you think are in this section right here? Can you see how many you think might be in this section here? One two, three, four. So there's four in this little area here, okay? There's four inside of there. And how many would be inside of here, okay? There's one, two, three units. See the little dots? There's three units going across. And how many are coming up and down? One, two, three, four. Three times four is... Three times four is twelve. And now we can add the two sections together, 4 plus 12 is, 4 plus 12 is 16, so there's 16 square units in this shape right here, okay? So, what you need to remember is, a unit square is just a square, like this, with a side length of one unit, okay? The side of it is one unit, all right? A square unit is a unit used to measure areas such as square inch, square foot, square meter, or square mile. So there is a difference between the two because the square unit actually uses a measurement like an inch or a centimeter or a meter where a square unit could be anything. It could be a crayon. It could be a paperclip. It could be anything. It's just a unit, okay? The reason, in fact, is it, well, it's not a reason, but we shouldn't even put unit after this. It should be square something. It should be square centimeter, inch, mile, square block, okay? Square inch, square foot. That's actually what this should say instead of square unit. A unit square is any size square that you're using to measure as one unit. Like I said, like a crayon or a paper clip. This is actually a square inch, a square centimeter. See? That's the difference. That one actually has an actual measure to it. So th this is how you do square units and measure area and a flat surface. Okay? So I want to show you one more thing while we're saying flat. If you've ever seen a Rubik's Cube or dice or ice cubes in a drink, those are cubes. Those are not flat. Okay? 
That's a different type of measurement. We're doing flat surface area, okay? We'll talk about these in a future video, all right? Look for that when we talk about cubes. Sorry, my camera's shaking. There we go. And I'll see you next video.